Lauren, welcome to my show, Thrift Flip, where I take things that I bought at the Melrose Trading Post and flip them into something worth Instagramming. Kicking off this episode with the haul, the first thing I picked up was this really cool but like basic lamp because I wasn't entirely sure what I wanted to do with it. So I feel like there's lots of opportunity to do some really cool DIY stuff with it. I also got some hardware, which I have something cool planned for this, a little something up my sleeve, some screws, and then also a really cute set of four drawer pulls. So the first DIY is going to be the lamp, so let's get started. So what you're gonna need for this DIY is some marble or pattern, colored, whatever you're feeling, contact paper. And I've also got a ruler for measuring out exactly how much contact paper you're going to need. I've got scissors. And lastly, I've got a flat edged object just to smooth out the contact paper as we add it around so there's no air bubbles. You can also use an ID, debit card, anything flat. And yeah, let's get started. So the first step is going to be to measure the surface that we're gonna be contact papering. So it's gonna be this little glass part of the lamp here and it's about eight inches. And the awesome thing about contact paper is a lot of the time there is already a pre-laid out measurement set for you on the back. So I've got my lamp on its side now and contact paper is like kind of scary to work with because it is so sticky. So I'm just gonna peel like the first, I don't know, fifth or sixth of it off and just fold this part back. So we're just gonna go section by section. So you can go ahead and start with the corners. And this is where you're gonna use either your credit card or your ID to flatten this out so we don't have any air bubbles as we go. And then all we're gonna do is remove a little more of this backing here and repeat that exact same process. Marble is so trendy and we just did that in like 10 seconds. So real marble lamps are A, extremely heavy, and B, super expensive, and this contact paper for an entire roll was only $6, and there is so much more that you can do with the rest of your leftover contact paper. This looks so freaking cute. It's gonna upscale any room that it gets put into, and contact paper is amazing because you can get it at Home Depot, Target, Amazon for super affordable, and there are so many different patterns to make really cool things with, and it can really, really change up a bedroom. So for the second in DIY, we're gonna be making a little decor tray that's great for perfumes or makeup or little trinkets, whatever you wanna put on display. So for this DIY, I've got a hot glue gun, a wooden base that has some cute little rounded edges already, a screwdriver, some drawer pulls, screws, and hardware. So as you guys saw in the last DIY, contact paper is super, super easy. Figured I didn't wanna bore you with a second tutorial, but basically you're gonna wrap your contact paper around your surface and use the card to smooth out any bubbles and you will get this. So I went ahead and made four holes, one in each corner so that we can add our hardware. So I'm just gonna start by popping the screw through the back and that's gonna come up and attach into the bottom of the hardware. So now I'm going to attach the hardware and just screw it in, going from the back side. So I'm going to go in with my glue gun on the bottom of the drawer poles and just add a dot of glue. And then just pop these onto all four corners of the tray. And it's done! Okay, ready for the final flip? Three, two, one, ta-da! It's so cute! All I wanna do is accessorize it. So guys, for real, like, the options are endless. We've got our marble lamp, we've got our marble display tray, and I also did this super cute clock. So as I mentioned before, a lamp can easily run you over $100. Our marble clock, Probably like 75 and also no one's trying to hang up a marble clock on your wall. That's just like something I'm not trying to do. And then a marble display tray, probably like a solid $50. So I would say this is a major thrift flip success. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you go do so at Lord DIY and I will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.